Hey everyone, and it's me, Amanda, and I'm back to film my 36 to 37 week pregnancy update. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to update last week, but here I am, and I'm doing my update, and I'm really excited to finally say that I'm officially full term. I am 37 weeks and um, one day today, so I'm just so excited, and I can't believe that my... Um, um, my due date is only three weeks away. I can't believe that um, within three weeks, more or less, I will be a mother and he will be in my arms. Um, there is quite a bit to say um, in this update, actually, and um, in this week's update, and um, a lot has been going on and um, in terms of you know, my emotions and things like that. So as far as 36 weeks go, um, nothing has really changed for 36 weeks. Um, I have been a lot more, I guess, impatient and anxious now. I've been wanting um, him to be here and um, I just want to fast track everything and I just want everything to go back bad, back uh, by really fast and just fast forward and it be my due date. and. Um, I'm just so excited. I'm really at that point where I am, I just, I am getting to that point where I feel I'm extremely uncomfortable all the time now. So, um, I'm getting, I can't breathe properly and then I get really nauseous at the same time. Um, I start to lose my vision and I want to pass out. Um, I have, I'm having back pain, um, and, you know, <clears throat> really tense. My feet swell up a little bit once I'm on my feet for too long. Um, I have a lot, a lot of heartburn. This, like, I'm sorry, but I have to say that the heartburn has been um, the worst. It has increased a lot. And um, I do feel like he has, he is growing and he went through a growth spurt since the last time that I spoke to you guys. Because... I just feel him a lot more now and when he moves it kind of hurts and it's a little uncomfortable now and I feel him kind of up against my organs and it's really uncomfortable although I really do love it when he moves um, it is getting really uncomfortable um, the heartburn is getting really bad I'm starting to get like hot throw up in my mouth like up my neck and coming back down and um, I have to say that it has caused a bit of I guess inflammation in my um my neck and up here because I do feel extremely uncomfortable in my neck and things like that. I feel um, like it's really, it's really, really bugging me. Um, the heartburn has been horrible. I've been waking up at in the middle of the night at least three times a night to drink a small glass of milk because I do find that the milk does help me with heartburn. But it's extremely uncomfortable when you're there. You're trying to sleep and you're laying down and then you feel that rush of burning sensation and it's just, oh, I just, I'm over it, you guys. I just want to, um, I just want him to be here so bad. Um, I have three weeks to go, um, but, you know, I think that it is, I think time is passing by um, fast, like, sorry, a little bit slow because I am in those final days where I guess I'm just focusing and um, wanting him to be here, so I guess it's just passing by slower, but... I guess I'm just going to have to occupy myself a little bit more. Um, I'm at that point where I just want to like keep complaining to my doctor so that he can do something about it. No, I'm just joking. Um, it's not that bad yet, but it is getting there. I'm extremely out of breath all the time. So even when I talk a lot or even walking a little bit or doing a few things, I get extremely out of breath. Um... So I think that's, yeah, <laughs> there's a lot going on. Um, what else can I say? Um, as far as things that are organized for him to be here, um, I just purchased yesterday. I went to Target. Um, they actually, as you guys know, opened um, Target in Canada um, all over. So... They, w they had a soft opening last week, so I went yesterday, and I'm extremely, I have to say, I'm completely in love with Target. I think it is just my favorite department store of all time now, <laughs> and I went ahead, and we um, took advantage yesterday, and we bought a few things that we still needed 
for him. Um, we went ahead and got him his car seat, which is right here. Um, we got him the Brightex Be Safe um, car seat because we are getting him the Brightex um, stroller. Which one is it? Um, Brightex. Oh, I just, and then that's another thing. Pregnancy brain is just killing me right now. Um, I can't believe I'm forgetting this. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I'm getting the matching stroller. It's not the Bright Text B angle. It's the other one that's like extremely expensive. But um, yeah, anyway, <laughs> the Bright Text Be Ready. The Bright Text Be Ready stroller. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, so um, yeah, we went ahead and got that. And we got, we're getting just a little bit more prepared. We're going to go pick up. We also picked up a uh, like, mini suitcase for the ho for our hospital bags. It's a three-pack. It's a mini suitcase and a handbag and um, like a toiletries bag. So I am going to start packing our hospital bags today. And hopefully I can film that video and get that up for you guys. Um, I am going to be searching... Um, list of things that I should be putting in my hospital bag. My doctor did give me a list of things that I need to be bringing to the hospital bag and I don't think that my hospital provides diapers because it's telling me to bring 20 disposable diapers. So let's see about that but I will ask him in more detail what the hospital provides and what the hospital doesn't provide but I will be bringing everything just in case. I will be bringing my... I did um B, I did um, fill my diaper bag if any of you guys missed that. It is up and ready. And um, yeah, so I will be bringing like, you know, a colorful pillow for me, um, my nursing pillow and things like that. But um, we'll get that into further detail when I fill my hospital bag. Um, so yeah, the only thing left now, I guess, I think everything's ready. I'm going to be putting his car seat together soon and putting, making sure that it's installed in the car because at this moment he can come at any time. So I want everything ready. I am definitely going to say that I'm starting to, um, begin the nesting phase. I have been, um, nesting and wanting to get everything organized and cleaning all the time for him. <laughs> Because, um, you know, I want everything organized so that he comes here. Um, you know, we're going to go grocery shopping in the next week or two so that we can have our house fully stocked with food for when he gets here so that, you know, we don't have to worry about that. Um, also, for, like, more symptoms, this video is going to be all over the place, and I apologize for that because I have no notes and um, I wasn't prepared. But um, I am starting to get, I am starting to feel his hands in my pelvic area more um so i i definitely do think that he's gonna start dropping or he is dropping because i do feel a lot of pain in my cervix and um some pressure down there so i do feel like he's starting to nudge his head i do feel his the nudging of his head a lot at the bottom um and pelvic pressure so I definitely think that he's going to be starting to drop. I haven't noticed. I do think that he dropped a little tiny bit because I do feel a little bit of um, relief up here. But I do think he's going to start making his way down. Um, and maybe you guys could be the judge of that. Um, but yeah, hopefully, you know, um, now I see my doctor every week. So I seen him yesterday. There's really nothing to update on um, as far as that. He did measure me and things like that. I haven't gained any weight since my last appointment and um, totaling... My weight totals in at um, a total of 9 pounds throughout this whole pregnancy. So I've only gained a total of 9 pounds throughout my whole pregnancy. And I'm really proud of that because, you know, I'm towards the end and I'm still not really gaining a lot. Like I said, I, I seen him two weeks ago and I still haven't, my weight's the same from when I seen him last time. So definitely the last month, usually they say that the baby puts on one ounce, one ounce a day. But, um, you know... And they say that the nine month you gain a lot, but I that hasn't so far it hasn't applied to me so far. So um yeah. I um I'm extremely happy about that. And um yeah, so what else can I talk about? Um I think that's about it. I d I feel like I'm forgetting to tell you guys stuff. But yeah, so I have been feeling a lot of that pressure and things like that. I've been trying to jump up and down and walk a lot to help him go down and to help me with labor and things like that. Because, you know, walking is really good. Um, so yeah, so I think, um, you know, the next few weeks is just going to be me trying to help him 
go down and me to prepare for labor. Um, so hopefully next week I will be able... Um, he will actually start checking me and going into more detail about um, the whole plan for labor and delivery yeah. and sort of um, things like that. Um, I had my appointment yesterday, which my, was my 37-week update, and um, he had just measured me, um, you know, checked his heartbeat, things like that, and said that... Um, Thing, and just prepared me a little bit, gave me the list of, you know, things that I should bring to the hospital. And then next week, he, um, I have an appointment for April 2nd. And then he will be checking me and um, making sure that, I guess, just following from there. And then, um, you know, I think I want to start talking to him about whether, if he doesn't come on his due date, and we'll talk about induction and things like that. But, um, yeah, so we'll keep you guys updated, but for the most part, we're almost ready for him. We're almost actually 99.9% .9 ready for him. The nursery, we just need to buy two baskets for his change table and get some things organized. Um, and just get a closet organizer. I've been looking around for some and just put his letters on the board, the wall, and then um, that'll be it. And I can film his nursery tour. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will do my belly shot, so I will show you my 37 week and one day pregnancy up pregnancy update pregnancy belly. So, uh, here is my 37 week pregnancy belly. So here's from the side. Here's the front, and then here is the other side. So that is my 37 week and one day pregnancy belly. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys have any questions or um, comments, just leave them below and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you and have a great day. Until next time. Bye.